Hey, KHTS, hometownstation.com. Currently in the studio, I have two, I have great, great respect, by the way, for educators. And the, we had a gentleman earlier who taught junior high. I think you have the next challenging position. Mm -hmm. I have two teachers who teach kindergartners at the Albert Einstein Academy. I have Andrea Parker and Marianne Belinget. Welcome to the studio. Hello, ladies. Hello. <laughs> thank you. You do. You have a, you have a difficult job because... Because honestly, what you have is clay, I think, just the raw makings of a person. And we as parents, we sort of look at you and say, okay, take this clay and help me do great things. You have a huge responsibility. And I know that what part of the mission statement of um, Albert Einstein Academy is that you are building hands-on, critical thinking, well-rounded, responsible, global citizens. And I think, oh, that's a big, tall order for a five-year-old. Do you have a magic... Uh, um, formula or what do you think is the very first thing that when they come to your class that you think to yourself all right here's this new person I'm, I'm gonna help build what what goes through your mind as teachers I know for me at least it's um, I want to make sure that the kids that the kids have a passion for learning that's my biggest goal and I think that even in kindergarten it's a huge responsibility for not just us but for the parents as well um, to kind of just give them that passion to continue learning and to become lifelong learners to you know become whatever it is that they want to become when they grow older whether it's an engineer or a doctor or um, whatever it is that they have a passion for so I think that in kindergarten although so many of them you know really dream about being princesses and whatever because <laughs> um, they're so young I think towards the end of the year, they become more aware of the real responsibilities that they have. Um, and they, you know, they learn to want to be engineers and creators and now as teachers do you sort of see those gifts come to the surface as you're working with them where you think oh this child really has a an affinity for math or this one and do you kind of help sculpt that and and build that uh, when you see that can you see it at that age do you do you think is that, that you you see those signs oh absolutely um even just putting blocks out you can see who's really interested in the designing and the building or when we do art projects who's really into the drawing and the painting and you find ways to incorporate that into learning we use a, art a lot in our classroom um, different different ways to learn and different modalities and um, just differentiating so that all the students get what they need and learn the way that they need and you know and we're able to shape that clay very fun and you're working currently on on what your project your class project you're doing now you were just uh, mentioning before we came on air what you're working on um, today was the 100th day of school, so it was a really big celebration for, I don't know, at least for kinder and first, I'm sure through um, at the entire school. It was just a really big, um, a really big celebration. It was a lot of fun, and we, in kindergarten and in our younger grades, we obviously learn how to count, so when we get to that big 100 number, it's just a huge a huge, huge, huge milestone for them. How oh, very fun. And what kind of things do you do to, to you know, to celebrate 100? Do you um, I know that we all made crowns and <laughs> that say, you know, so I they, survived 100 days. And they do get to fi fulfill that princess fantasy now because they got the crown for today. <laughs> yeah. And so do we. And mo oh, yeah, you got the crown too. Very nice. Um, I know that we made necklaces. We did a couple of um, different writing things and stuff to... Um, to really focus on the 100th day. Yeah, now, showing things in groups of 10, counting by twos, by fives, by tens. Very fun, very yeah. fun. Now, I know that you, the Albert Einstein Academy is a very hands-on, that's like one of your big, um, the, the big part of your mission statement, that kids are, um, can you give me an example of what might be, which you've already done this year or might be coming up, that would be different from any other school uh, modality of working with a, with a, with a student? I know that at the beginning of the year, all four of our kindergarten classes did um, an open STEAM project. So we built, um, what were they called? Open STEAM project? Yeah, yeah. so a STEAM project. It was just um, something that all four of us ended up doing together. Um, what were they called? Apple carriers. Okay. So yeah. we were focusing on Johnny Appleseed, and we gave the students just simple things, everyday things that they could find at home. Like, what were they? Popsicle, Popsicle sticks? Popsicle sticks, paper, masking tape. 
um, um, aluminum foil, wax paper. Just random little things and we asked, we gave him a story or we gave him a problem and said, you know, there's a little boy who wants to carry these apples to another place and we need you to build him a carrier that carries so very many apples. It needs to be able to walk at least 10 steps and here's some tape and... Why and go. Go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they really Pretty created much. some amazing things and they tested it out. They talked over it, talked it over with their groups and they made some really cool projects. Very nice. When I was a kid, I know I loved field trips. Do you have, have you had any field trips or any field trips coming up? Or what would be your dream field trip? I, uh, I've seen some things where kids have gone out and seen uh, different aspects of businesses. Or what would you like to do with your, or what do you plan to do with your class? I know that I think we're trying to plan a gentle barn field trip because we have a, u a big unit on animals. Um, we've gone to the Long Beach Aquarium. We did nice, and they are very hands-on. You can actually touch creatures. Oh. oh, they were amazing, and they have a new program now where they'll take the kids in and they do a little bit of like math curriculum with them right before they see the animals. Oh, nice! So very nice. It was a lot of fun. The kids loved it. Very nice. And how many kids are in your classrooms? We have about a. 20, 20 in each of ours. That's a lovely size. I it's have to beautiful. I think yeah. nothing, <laughs> yeah, nothing bigger than that. Oh, very nice. Yeah. And so, can you can you each of you think of what was your what was maybe one of your most favorite moments as teaching kindergarten? Do you have like a, a story that that you can tell me that that just made it feel like this was so worth it? I'm so happy I do what I do. Um, mine, at least, is when they first start reading. Um, a lot of the kids, well, some of the kids come in, you know, knowing a little bit of reading or a few of their letters. But my most, um, my favorite part is when all the kids end up start end up reading in around November, I want to say, and they start reading independently, even if it's just a really simple sentence, and they just that light turns on, and you kind of catch it, and in the corner of your eye, and you're kind of like, oh, that kid just read a whole sentence all by themselves, and, and the whole world opens up to them. Yeah, <laughs> oh. it's amazing to see oh. that light. I'm a little weepy thinking about it. What a lovely, <laughs> lovely thing. Do you have a similar moment where you say, I'm so happy I teach this grade? There was one that happened recently. Um, in my class, we do journal at the end of every day and you know they, it's their favorite thing um, I hope that stays with them but the prompt for the day was when I grow up and um, as Miss Blingit Marion was saying before a lot of them are I want to be princess I want to be you know king and I got one student who said I want to be a teacher so that I can teach kids and I just thought that that was so heartwarming that he wanted to do that too and so for me that was a really big oh that's lovely yeah. he sees your example and you probably are his his first example to that and what a lovely testimony to your teaching abilities well ladies i thank you for being here in the studio today again this is andrea parker and marianne belingit from the albert einstein academy teachers who teach <laughs> really the most beautiful little lumps of clay kindergarten thank you so much for visiting us thanks thank for having you. us bye-bye